CARICOM Secretary General outlines agenda for 38 regular meeting being held in Grenada this week. We'll have a discussion on access uh, to financing for development, um, which as part of, of the work that we're doing uh, in terms of our sustainable development. We'll also be receiving a proposal that has been worked upon by UN ECLAC, a proposal for debt for climate adaptation swap. With the National Report, I'm Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall. CARICOM heads of government will deliberate a number of pertinent issues when they meet in St. George's for the 38th regular meeting on Wednesday. High on the agenda will be the subject of transportation, as well as ICT, the state of the economy, and matters related to the CSME. CARICOM Secretary General Erwin LaRocque hosted a press conference on Monday morning and spoke to the issues that will be deliberated from July 5th to 6th at the Radisson Grand Beach Resort. We'll have a discussion on access uh, to financing for development, um, which as part of, of the work that we're doing uh, in terms of our sustainable development. We'll also be receiving a proposal that has been worked upon by UN ECLAC, a proposal for debt for climate adaptation swap. We will be looking at the um, ICT, the roadmap towards a single ICT space. We know ICT has to be a major player in terms of competitiveness in our region. Um, uh, we have a roadmap that we'll be putting forward in terms of seeking to achieve um, that. Uh, at the end of the day, the ICT, we're hoping we'll be able to deliver on cheaper and ubiquitous broadband and lower the cost of doing business to the extent that e-commerce becomes more and more part of how we do business in our region. Human resource development will also uh, feature prominently. The Commission on Human Resource Development will be presenting it's the strategy which was mandated by heads, HRD 2030 strategy. Uh, it will be presented by the chair of the commission, who is the Deputy Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis. The conference, which will be officially opened at the Grenada Trade Centre on Tuesday, will be addressed by incoming chairman, Prime Minister Dr. of the Right, Honorable Keith Mitchell, as well as the outgoing chair, Guyana's President David Granger, the CARICOM Secretary General, Mr. LaRocque, and the two newest members, Bohemian Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis and Haiti's President Jovenel Moise. Meanwhile, CARICOM leaders will hear two major presentations during their meeting in St. George's. One will focus on chronic non-communicable diseases and the other on tourism. CARICOM Secretary General Erwin LaRocque says transportation will have the attention of CARICOM leaders. We will be having a presentation uh, as the result of a, a work of a working group um, which was comprised of the Caribbean Tourism Organization, the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association, as well as the Secretariat. Uh, we'll be making a presentation. We know tourism is a, is a major um, component sector of our regional economy. Um, so we want to be looking forward to that. And of course, part of the tourism, uh, tourism is transportation. And we're hoping uh, that the multilateral air services agreement, which we've been working on for some time, will get policy sign-off from heads of government on that issue. It will allow uh, greater ease of travel in the region um, in terms of uh, CARICOM-owned uh, airlines. Also down for discussion is the progress made on implementing specified action agreed a decade ago under the Port of Spain Declaration to stop the epidemic of non-communicable diseases, which are a major concern for governments in the region, costing between 2 and 5 percent of their GDP. We have to start looking at what kind of foods and, and vending machines we make available to our youth in schools. School feeding programs is another way of, of allowing for that. So there are a number of issues and we will be having a, a, a presentation on it um, and um, hopefully there's, there's some measures that we can agree on that member states will adopt collectively at the national level uh, going forward. A highlight of Tuesday's opening ceremony will be the presentation of the Triennial Award for Women to Ms. Shirley Price of Jamaica. The veteran advocate for domestic workers' rights will be the 12th CARICOM Triennial Women Awardee. This is the National Report. More news after the break. The house was shaking, shaking. Then said the story here, babe. Crack, 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 crack. And the roof had gone. Man, I was so scared, I nearly wet myself. Only those who have lived it can truly understand the devastating fury of a hurricane's wind. The house across the road just get up and roll over. Hurricane force wind. It's a hazard. Hazards. Take control. Reduce your loss. 
you can hurricane proof your home. For example, make your roof more wind resistant by using screws instead of nails in its construction. Find out more about hurricane force winds and other hazards at your local disaster office. A message from the National Disaster Management Agency and Sidera. A local investor is praising Grenada for creating an enabling environment for development. In 2016, local developer and CEO of CNC Grenadines Limited, Dr. Christopher Ashby, unveiled plans to construct a multi-million dollar exclusive world-class luxury resort, the Point at Piticali Vini. And during a sword-turning ceremony, he said the Point at Piticali Vini will be operated as a private resident club and can be considered as a totally new hospitality project in Grenada. Last Friday, a roof-raising ceremony was held at the construction site, signaling the completion of the roofs at the townhouse and villa in phase one of the project. The ceremony is in keeping with traditions on the sister isle of Karakou, where Dr. Ashby resides. Grenada is, for the first time in many years, truly open for business. Look around and see what extraordinary things are taking place with the enormous activity in the construction and tourism sectors. <clears throat> we are now at the cusp of something that is happening not because of a generosity of an NGO or a donor nation, because of the strong and nimble leadership that is open and highly supportive of real partnerships between the public and private sectors. Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell is happy that Grenada is well on its way to attracting more investors. He said Grenada's economy is doing well. I am very happy this development and the other development taking place in our country. It is well known that Grenada's economy is doing well in every respect, relatively speaking. Um, the recent reports of CDB, ECCB, the World Bank and others have given us tremendous credit for where we have taken this country in 2013 to where it is today. And the philosophy is, is clear. We have created an enabling environment for private sector takeoff in every respect so that we notice in not only Grenadians like Brother Ashby but other persons outside the region and in the region are coming here and investing. People see this country as a right place for serious investment. When completed, the point at Piticali Vini will feature condos, villas and seaside rooms, exquisite dining options and intimate indoor and outdoor entertainment areas. An independent commission on marijuana will conduct a series of consultations in all member states in the second half of this year. Men in the region have been clamoring for the decriminalization of marijuana for medicinal purposes. When CARICOM heads of government meet here this week, they are expected to look at the work on the commissions on reparations and marijuana. I am hoping that they can complete that, con these consultations in time for a report to come to heads next year. Um, but let's let, let the, it's an independent commission. It's not one that is staffed by uh, personnel from the Secretariat or anywhere else. Let's see what they come up with. Um, we will be getting an update on where we are on the issue of reparations. Um, it continues to be an issue that we we are looking at and addressing, and um, the, the chairman, um, the lead head, will be uh, addressing heads on that matter in, in the meeting, and we'll wait for the outcome of that discussion. That's CARICOM Secretary General Erwin LaRock. And that's the National Report. I'm Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall.